So welcome back to Plowman's Backyard. We're doing our second hatch of this year with the um, Amazon 16 egg incubator. Uh, so far it's going really well and today is lockdown day. So I thought I'd just share that with you. It looks like we're gonna have even a better hatch than our first one. Um, if you haven't checked out our first video on how to use the Amazon uh, 16 incubator, you can check that out on our channel. I go through all the steps on how to use the machine. I'm not sure if I cover um, what temperatures that I used. I can uh, share that in this video. Uh, but I basically did the exact same thing as I did in the previous video as um, I did with this incubation. So as you can see, what I've done is I just put a, a towel around most of it, just leaving this vent able to open as I need to. Also leaving the section down here where I add the water. Um, so I just wrap it around. It just keeps it a little bit more um, warm so that the temperature is not dropping a lot. So anyways, I thought I'd just show you where I'm going to take the rollers out. So I got a lot of um, people asking or saying that they didn't get a manual uh, for their incubator when they bought it. We have emailed a couple people um, PDFs. We went over and... Um, we copy the manual for people. So if you don't have a manual and you'd like one, just um, leave us a comment below with your email address and we can uh, send you off a copy of the manual. I'm just gonna let you know, um, people were also asking about what temperatures I use for what days. So I'm just gonna let you know, I wrote them down in the manual, um, what temperatures I used on specific dates. So days one to seven, I had my temperature here set at 38.3. Uh, days eight to 13, I had it set at 38.0. Day 14 to 18, 37.9. And day 19 until hatch, which is what I'm gonna change it to in a moment, will be 37.6. And that is what I use for my first hatch and it's what I'm using for the second one. All right, so I'm gonna remove the towel and I keep the towel on the whole time, even during the lockdown, um, during hatch. First off, I'm gonna take the eggs out. And that beeping is just letting us know that the air is getting out and that the temperature is going down. It's not as hot in there. So leave us some comments down below if you've tried this incubator, what your hatch rate was like. I'd like to know how you guys are doing with it. So far we've been quite happy with it. The rollers just come out. And I'm doing everything the same as I did the last time. So if you're wondering how I did things, how I set it up to begin, everything like that, I want you to go and check out. I'll leave a link above um, to the video that we used on how to use the Amazon 16 egg incubator. So I'm also going to, I have this mat, it's like a kitchen, um, it's for your kitchen cupboards, I got it at the dollar store, I have that, uh, let's see, there's a little, little grate that comes with it, and I have my humidity pack. And you'll see that in my other video. Um, go check it out so you know what I do with that. I'm taking it out now to raise my humidity levels. And this is the point where you want to be adding your, your water more frequently, a couple times a day to get that humidity level up. I'm just going to put this back in there. The reason why I put that no slip... Um, that no slip mat in is because I found that the grate that you get with this um, for the chicks to be hatched in, um, they could get um, spayed leg or anything like that because the holes are quite big. 
Now with that non-slip mat, it's gonna help them not to slip around. We didn't have any problems with our chick's legs in the first hatch. I'm hoping um, we're not gonna have any um, wrong with this hatch as well. But um, that's the reason why I used it. So it costs like a buck, you get a roll, and I only use a little bit at a time, so it lasts a long time. Um, you can get them, we got ours off of Amazon. And it's just helping to keep that humidity levels down. I made sure that the water was filled up in the bottom, so there's lots, should be lots of humidity in there. Um, the next thing that we are going to do, or I did while I was waiting, for it to stop beeping was I changed the temperature now um, to 37.6 and to do that you're just going to hit the set button on the top and the plus and minus so I put the minus because as the days go down you want the temperature to be lowered and the humidity to rise so that's set at 37.6 at this point and it'll stay there until the uh, chicks hatch so now I'm just going to um, add the eggs back into the incubator. So a lot of people at this point will turn off their turner so that it's not turning anymore. Um, I didn't do that for the first one and I'm not doing it for this one either. <clears throat> I figure since I turned the rollers out that the, the eggs aren't turning anyways. So I'm just putting them back in and I'm not even going to touch that uh, function. So as you can see here, um, we just cut this. You'll see this in my other videos, why I did it. But we just cut this so we can peek through and see how the chicks are doing, um, how hatch rate is going, as well as I'm going to put my uh, humidity reader right up against here so that I can keep track and control my humidity levels in the um, incubator when it's going. So as you'll see in my other video on um, how to use the Amazon 16 egg incubator, you will notice that I'm using this spray to keep the humidity levels up by opening this vent and spraying in. Uh, I have come to realize by um, a few of our viewers commenting that perhaps I shouldn't be doing this because this is where the um, fan and the electrical unit is. So I'm taking their advice. I think it's great advice and I want to thank those who had um, commented down below on that. Um, so this time around um, I'm going to be opening the lid and spraying inside the lid. So that's just a note and change that I'm doing this time around than last time. It didn't wreck our incubator. Everything's running just fine but just in case we want to be cautious of that. So I want to thank our viewers for letting us know. So I had a lot of people um, emailing and commenting, wanting a um, another update on our chicks, also an update on the Amazon incubator itself, and if we were doing another hatch. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little update, and we will have other videos coming out on how many hatched um, our second time around. I hope you are enjoying um, what we're sharing with this incubator. I hope that you're having successful hatch rates and please leave us comments below. Let us know how you're doing. Um, let us know if what we're doing is helping and um, we'll try to continue to um, share updates on what we're doing with our incubator and our chicks. So check out our other videos that we have. Uh, we have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use this incubator. We have a hatch day video. Um, a lockdown video, we have candling videos, and we have chick updates. So please subscribe and hit that bell icon today so you don't miss out on the videos that we have that might be helpful to you or that you might enjoy watching. Again, we want to thank you for joining us here at Plowman's Backyard.